what's up guys my name is jay and thank you uh, for joining me in another of my uh, adobe uh, illustrator logo tutorials today i prepared uh, this beautiful circle based uh, logo uh, so as you will see uh, the logo is pretty simple and uh, there isn't uh, really much uh, uh, to it so again we start by uh, one a circle and uh, make a copy of it, it and uh, scale it with the scale to uh, to half to, to, to a half uh, of its uh, initial size so now press uh, shift and X and uh, to, to swap these uh, fill and stroke and uh, make a make a gradient here uh, make a stroke here of about five uh, pixels and now what you want to do you have our we have our smart smart guides turned on. Uh, we want to drag a, a circle that is uh, approximately uh, touching these uh, these uh, first uh, uh, strokes of of our uh, circle. So uh, we have a, a, some kind of a of a tolerance uh, line. Now I make uh, another circle, which is we can perhaps make another. Uh, half its size this will be uh, good and uh, you'll just want to make the color of these uh, uh, fill color of these circles uh, uh, to white uh, because it will be uh, easier uh, to select them but just play around with these circles uh, as as you like uh, pay attention that your uh, circles are aligned as much as possible to these uh, to these edges here okay now select everything and uh, uh, press R new keyboard to get to the center and uh, hold alt to copy this and now uh, press ctrl D to duplicate this action uh, again avoid these repeating patterns uh, so it, it looks as randomized as possible in in our design later and uh, the whole process uh, is actually uh, depending on your uh, on your free will uh, you can just place these circles uh, uh, randomly around uh, until you get uh, something that you that you will eventually like uh, and also uh, like I said before, uh, try to keep uh, these edges uh, filled up. I think uh, this is pretty fine. Uh, now you can uh, select these uh, outer rings and delete them. Select, select our circles and uh, remove this stroke and uh, assign it, I don't know, black color. So, uh, what we got now is a uh, is a pretty nice uh, a range of our circles uh, it is it is pl uh, pleasant to, to the eye maybe maybe just to rotate everything and uh, for the next and final part you want to find uh, uh, this uh, spectrum spectral gradient here uh, like I do uh, to, to, to get this one go to the uh, swatches option swatches libraries uh, swatches library and uh, find your gradients and uh, go to spectrums here and you, you can find this gradient here and uh, just drag uh, just drag something out uh, a nice nice color combination uh, this works as a logo this can work pretty fine too but uh, what you can do is you can expand this object and uh, when you expand the fill you don't want to specify 255 objects uh, we can say for example 5 so it will release uh, the, the gradient to, to just a few uh, colors uh, we end up with a bunch of these uh, uh, circles that have a, a clipping mask uh, on them it's basically uh, the, sh the, the, the circle shape uh, is on top of, uh, of these uh, expanded uh, uh, I don't know rectangles uh, with different colors and uh, it's it's this is good for your practice and uh, you will want to uh, 
uh, set to only one color uh, which is dominant uh, in in every of these circles uh, don't don't be afraid of these uh, because uh, these are only uh, 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 shapes uh, uh, behind a, a circle uh, if you have the smart guides uh, turned on uh, if you uh, if you hover above uh, above them uh, uh, they will highlight uh, instantly uh, so uh, I just keep on uh, uh, this uh, this re repeating process and uh, and get yourself some skill you can use your pen tool to just uh, drag everything or you can uh, select these this uh, uh, shape in the background and uh, increase it uh, uh, to a size just a, a fit uh, uh, around this circle because uh, uh, we have a clipping mask so it doesn't matter uh, what what size it is so again uh, take this one we have a 50 50 uh, here so whatever you use I just realized you can uh, do this too uh, with your uh, direct selection tool uh, select your color and then just uh, uh, click on one edge here uh, and drag uh, drag out uh, so uh, there are many different many different ways in which you can uh, manage this uh, and that's uh, why it is good because it it uh, gives you uh, some good practice so again click on the edge and drag out you actually <laughs> even don't need to delete uh, these shapes uh, you can just uh, click them and drag them out of this uh, clipping, clipping path so uh, what we are left with is a pretty uh, pretty nice uh, uh, lo logo arrangement you want to find a, I don't know some some neat color that you can lay this uh, out on it, it can also be a dark one it works on a, on a dark color as you like uh, so this is it for this tutorial i hope that you learned something from me today if you did uh, please show your support by subscribing to my channel or liking this video uh, and i'll see you uh, next time bye bye